Okay, this is a quick tutorial to tell you about um, tools you can use uh, for faster modeling in Blender. Um, so let's say I wanted to create something that's symmetrical down the middle, like a face, um, and I wanted to build it out of this cube. I might start cutting it up and draw an eye this side, and then make an eye this side, and then an ear this side, and an ear this side. But there's a much quicker way. You cut it down the middle, and you only have to do one side, and then you mirror it uh, and uh, duplicate it across one axis to um, have two halves. Yep, so you cut it in half and uh, copy the sides. I'll show you how you can do that. You go into edit mode, press tab, and uh, then we're going to cut this down the middle. If I press control R now, you can see this purple line appears, and it's it's straight down the center of wherever I want to put it. I can put it along here, there, there, and I want it there. So I right click and then start moving it about. I don't want to do that. Um, I wanted it to stay in the middle, um, because it has to be precisely in the middle, uh, so that I can cut it in half and have a perfect symmetrical copy of the other side. So if I right click now it will go back to the center. There we go, so I've got two halves. And now I want to get rid of this side. In order to do that let's go to the uh, uh, front view with uh, three. Uh, that's the front view. It depends what you call the front view. It depends which way you're facing. But three and one are sort of between the front view and side view. So there we go. We'll say that's uh, front view and that's number three. Um, right, so front view and then I'm going to select the faces on this side. So I press control tab and select faces and then I'm going to B box select uh, the faces on this side okay but it's only selected the front face and that's a problem what I need to do is this little button down here I can't remember what it's called but it sort of makes your um, cubes or whatever object you've got see through so when you select um, using the box select so I do that now I press A to deselect B to box select I can select that side now can you see Okay, so if I press delete and then faces, I get rid of those faces. And now I can go up to here where the spanner is, and that's my modifiers. And in the modifiers, I press add modifier and go to mirror. Oh, add modifi modifier and go to mirror. Okay, and that's not done anything yet, but what I want to do is mirror it in the y axis, because that's uh, the green one across there. So tick, off to, tick off the x, click on the y, and there's my replica. So now if I wanted to start modeling a face, let's say I can go in and cut it up again, let's say control R, let's cut it up a couple of times this way so oops, I did that wrong, let's undo that, control R and then uh, press your wheel mouse button and you can get more splits so I press just two there for example and let's um, press control R and get two splits there and control R and get two splits there now I can start moving these edges and face around, let's move the edges around first and you'll see what I mean so I start doing things to this side, and it will happen to that side as well. So his uh, chin's going to go in a bit, uh, these are going to go in a bit, and now I'm starting to smooth out what looks to be a pretty rubbish face, but um, I want to be quick. Um, so you get these, pull them down. Uh, Modelling is, is, is fairly tough, and it takes a lot of practice. That's where the sort of artistry comes in. Um, and that's really what takes time. It doesn't take long to learn the programs, but to actually get good at modeling, that's something else. And uh, as you can see, uh, I'm doing a great job of um, making this face, aren't I? But let's say you wanted to put an eye in somewhere around here. Uh, this is not the best way to do it, but uh, it's an example. Let's uh, grab this face, uh, extrude that, and then I can bring it in, and you can start to see how an eye could be made. If you look on this side, you can see this eye there. Uh, fantastic. Uh, very, very basic. Um, I'm sure you'll do a lot better. If you want to pull out the neck, let's say, let's grab those, press extrude, and you've got a neck then. And now it's starting to look a tiny bit more like a face. You can see how you can start modeling these things just by building up by pressing Control R and cutting it up a bit more, moving things around, maybe another one there, and then I could maybe make a mouth here. Um, it's not brilliant, of course. Um, and you can see there's a mouth there, it's smiling. Now the only problem you're going to get, this is worth saying, is can you see there, there's a face created, you would have to delete that face uh, and it would make more sense. So because I extruded it left a face in there. You just have to watch out for those sort of things. Okay, I hope that makes sense.